one word to describe um, our game today would be disappointed, um, especially after uh, the effort that we had versus Stony Brook and how we executed at such a high level um, on all ends of the court. And we just didn't do it today um, on either end. Um, you, uh, Bats is an amazing player, and we made her look like Maya Moore, too, letting her do exactly what she likes to do and what we call her kill shots and things of that nature. You know, you, you just can't do that um, against a team like this. You know, at the end of the day, most people forget they were the champions last year. Three-way tie with the same players back. They've just had some injuries and some players in and out. Um, so they, they have a winning mentality. And um, we we just did not execute on either end. Um, the, the rebounding battle, I think we were down two at halftime. And so for us to lose by 19 on the boards and to give up 56 points in the paint. It's unacceptable. And so we definitely will be dissecting this film tomorrow and uh, trying to figure out uh, how, to, how to be better to beat a, a very good Drexel team. I think you guys cut it to four with about eight or six minutes left mm -hmm. in the second quarter. What were some of the things during that run that you thought you guys were capitalizing on? Yeah, we executed um, on the offensive end. We actually screened somebody. We actually moved the ball um, and didn't so much rely on a one-on-one -on -one ISO attacks. And so I thought we did a good job there defensively. We located their primary uh, players. We guard, guarded them accordingly. And we held them to one shot, which was one of the things that we were trying to do. The problem is, as you said, we only had some short spurts of that tonight. And um, it, it was just, you know, um, unfortunate um, to, to lose an opportunity to, to win a game that um, we could have won tonight. Off offensive sets wise, it seems that you guys either like I think you were saying it too. You kind of get stagnant and then you guys, you know, kind of do a, you know, an, an isolation type look. How can you guys make it easier to get into those set plays, moving the ball around, swinging the ball around, especially like when they're in a zone look and it yeah. becomes really hard when everybody's focused on the ball? Well, the, the main problem with our offense is our pace a lot of times. It takes us a lot of time to get into our set. So by the time we get in there, it's 18, 16, 15 seconds on the shot clock. And now, you know, you don't have time for plays to manifest the way that they're supposed to. So we have to pick our pace up and we have to screen better. You know, I, I tell them all the time, we look like ships passing in the night, you know, nobody making contact and then expecting someone to make a hero play. And we just didn't get a lot of easy shots. And it, it was no coincidence that they made 37 shots and we made 18 because they set their themselves up to get um, what we call sevens and nines, you know, high percentage shots. And we didn't. We shot a bunch of fours and fives, and that, that equals losing most of the time. I thought Sammy had a good game. Obviously, she's a red shirt freshman, having to see a lot of minutes you know, because of availability as well. How do you feel she did today? You know, we, we had seven, and Sammy played, uh, well, she played 26 minutes because she earned those minutes, and she earned the, the, the right to start. It's been a hard journey for Sammy coming back from her injury, and um, she's worked hard. She, she's gotten in, and she's um, done everything that we've asked her to do, and she could be a threat for us down there. And I told her, you know, when she gets it, I want her to look to score within the realm of what she's capable of doing. And she, she tried her best defensively. And, you know, I don't expect them to be perfect, but I expect them to give a perfect effort. And I thought Sammy Ackles did that. And I'm extremely proud of her. One of my favorite quotes you say is, relationships are my superpower. Mm -hmm. I know you have a relationship with their coach, uh, Coach Edwards Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Can you just speak about your guys' relationship a little bit and just kind of how um, – I don't want to say how it impacts the game, but how you know you approach the game, knowing that you know you do have a personal relationship with you know the other bench boss. Well, I mean, you know, we both are first-year head coaches, and I've known uh, P since one of my first years coaching, and so she's a really good friend of mine. But that goes out the door whenever the the ball is tipped up. You know, we're enemies at the end of the day, um, but when when you know when the game is going on, and I want to beat her just as much as I want to beat anybody else. But uh, we're definitely very good friends and lean on each other in, uh, in, in different times to be able to help each other out and I wish them nothing but the best. Last question for me. Um, it's you know you guys seem to throw a lot of looks at them today, specifically like trap looks beyond mm -hmm. the three point line, and they did end up getting a lot of layups off of that. How do you um, you know fix those gaps to make sure that you can play that 
you know, trap style defense if you want to play it, but you guys can still get back and recover and maybe not give up so many super easy baskets. Yeah, they got a lot of easy baskets. And the hard part of when you um, play a different defense is that there's not anything really to go off of it in terms of what teams will do against it, you know. So sometimes you got to get burned before you can go and say, hey, this is how we guard this action. And we try to make some adjustments in game, but we just need a little bit more work on it for them to be able to recognize some – different lineups, what teams are doing, this, that, and the other. And so when they start, like you said, getting those easy baskets, then that made us kind of hesitant in that defense, which you can't be hesitant. And so it just kind of was a, a double-edged sword, and we'll work to get to get better at it and, um, you know, be able to, to execute a little bit better. Thank you, Coach. See you Sunday. Thank you.